Now suppose we need to construct a b plus tree index for this insertion sequence where the order of the non-leaf node m equals 4 and the order of the leaf node n equals 3. Then the maximum number of keys that can be kept in the leaf node x3 and the maximum number of keys that can be kept on a non-leaf node is m minus 1 3. Thus the same number of keys, 3 keys can be kept maximum on a non-leaf node as well as the leaf node. In a B plus tree, the insertion always begins at the leaf node and in the beginning we have a single node, thus the root node itself is the leaf node and according to the structure of the leaf node, we will insert the key along with its data pointer. The, the key 23 along with its data record pointer is inserted, then key 65 along with its data pointer is inserted. Now to insert 37, we should insert it after 23 to follow the sorted order. The next one we should insert is 60. If we try to insert 60, it should occupy a place before 65. Now this node is full. Maximum it can keep 3 keys. Then if we try to insert 60 along with its data pointer, then an overflow will occur. To handle the overflow, we should split this node into two. Half the entries should go to the left node and half the entries should go to the right node. Since here there are even number of entries, exactly half the number of entries will go to the left and half the number of entries will go to the right. And the key, just the key corresponding to the mid element should be promoted to the parent to guide the search. Here 37 or 60, both can be the middle one. So here we will choose 37 as the mid entry and the key 37 will be promoted to the parent. Since we ha do not have a parent level, we will create new parent level. And since this is a non-leaf node, according to the structure of the non-leaf node, first there should be a pointer, then the key 37, then the pointer. The left pointer points to the left node and the right pointer points to the right node. So here what we did is we considered the mid element 37 or 60 both can be considered as the mid element. We took 37 as the mid element and the key corresponding to it is promoted to the parent and all the key data pointer pairs whose keys are less than or equal to 37 occupy the left node and all the key data pointer pairs whose keys are greater than 37 occupy the right node. And in other words, we can say we split the node into two with half half entries and placed the mid key on the top to guide the search. And this key can be the maximum of the keys on the leaf node of the left subtree or minimum of the keys on the leaf node of the right subtree. In our examples, we will always keep the maximum on the left subtree as the key which will guide the search. Now after 60, 46 should be inserted. 46 is greater than 37. Thus follow the right pointer. We should insert it in this leaf node before 60. So the first five elements are inserted. We can see each and every key along with their data pointers are present on the leaf node. And the key which is present as the guide to search will be the maximum of the keys on the leaf node of the left subtree. Next we should insert 92. 92 is greater than 37. Thus follow the right pointer greater than 65. Thus it should be placed after 65. There is no more space in this node. This node is already full. If we try to insert 92 it will create an overflow. To handle the overflow split this node into two. About half the entries will go to the left. Remaining half will go to the right. 60 or 65 both can be chosen as the mid key so here we will choose 60 as the mid key so that the key which will act as the guide which will be the maximum of the keys on the left subtree. So we can see every entry is present to the left of 37 are less than or equal to 37, right of 37 are greater than 37, less than 60. 
equal to 60 entries are kept to the left of 60 and greater than 60 entries are kept to the right of 60. Next we should insert 48. 48 is greater than 37. Follow the right pointer. Then 48 should be inserted after 46. There is enough space in the sleeve notch since it can hold maximum 3 keys. The next is 56. 56 is greater than 37 greater than 48 it should occupy a place after 48 there is no space in the node an overflow will occur thus we should split this node 46 48 will go to the left 56 50 will go to the right and the key 48 will be promoted to the parent level and 48 should occupy, occupy a place before 60 the 60 will be shifted to the right and 48 will occupy this place now we can see every key is the maximum of the keys on the leaf nodes of the left subtree now 56 is over 59 and 18 59 can be inserted after 56 and 18 can be inserted before 23. Next is 21. 21 is less than 37. Go to the left pointer. 21 should occupy a place after 18. There is no more space in this node. An overflow will occur. Thus we should split the node into two. 18 and 21 should go to the left. 23, 37 should move to the right. Now the mid key 21 should be promoted to the parent level. It should occupy a place before 37. But in this non-leaf node there is no more space. The maximum number of keys that can be accommodated in a non-leaf node is also 3. Thus there is no space for 21 here. So an overflow will occur for this non-leaf node. To handle the overflow we should split this node. And how to split a non-leaf node? We should find the mid key. Mid key should be promoted to the parent. All the keys which are less than the parent should go to the left and all the keys which are strictly greater than the parent should go to the right. So here there is unequal division. So we should decide whether we should keep more entries to the left or more entries to the right. Suppose in our examples we will keep more elements to the left than the right. The 48 will be chosen as the mid key. 21 and 37 will occupy the left and 60 will occupy the right node. So here we split the non-leaf node. The mid entry or the mid key is pushed to the parent and all the keys which are less than the key will occupy the left node and all the keys which are greater than the parent key occupy the right node. Since we are not dealing with the leaf nodes, we need not place the same key over these two places. And here we show 48 of the mid key instead of 37 so that we are keeping more elements to the left than the right. And check each and every key which is acting as the guide for the search is the maximum of the keys on the leaf node of the left subtree. Even 48 is the maximum of the keys on the leaf nodes of the left subtree pointed by this left pointer and all the keys to the right of 48 are greater than 48. Next is 10. 10 is less than 48 more to the left subtree less than 21 and it's less than 18. We can insert it in this leaf node since there is enough space in it we can insert it before 18. Now 74, 74 is greater than 48, greater than 60. It should be inserted after 71. There is no space in this knot, hence split the knot. 65, 71 will occupy the left knot. 74, 92 will occupy the right knot. 71 will be promoted as the key to the parent which will guide the search. And 71 has enough space in this knot. It can occupy a place after 16. 
So 71 is chosen as the mid key which is promoted to the parent. All the entries less than or equal to 71 kept to the left. All the entries greater than 71 kept to the right. The last one is 78. 78 greater than 48 greater than 71. There is space in this leaf node. We can insert it after 74. So this is the final B plus tree for that given insertion sequence and we can see the tree is balanced with all the leaf nodes at the same level. The keys are sorted and every key which will act as the guide for search will be the maximum from the keys on the leaf nodes of the left subtree. And every node satisfies the minimum fill and the maximum fill condition.